Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. We are going to look at whether or not we can salvage a print that stopped abruptly today. Before we start the experiment, I would like to share that our YouTube channel has reached 100k views. I just want to thank everyone for the support and we'll continue to roll out new content. So a colleague actually suggested this experiment to me and we we're actually quite curious whether or not this could work out. I guess we'll find out soon. We all know this happens to us from time to time, whether we are out of power or we accidentally pulled the socket out. So here we are with a gem starting to print. And at 56%, we accidentally pulled the plug. Now instead of starting a new print, we'll take the print off and we'll also take out the filament. And then we'll start a print. Once it gets to 56%, we'll choose the change filament option. Now we'll put the print back on. We'll insert the filament in again and we'll resume the print. In theory, it should work and continue finishing what it was printing before. Let's see. I'm actually off by a bit. And as we can all see, my print shifted a bit. Hmm, let's stop it and just remove it so we can take a better look at it. We can see here that I am actually off by quite a bit instead of just a bit. It's off on the X axis and then from a top down view, I'm actually off on the Y axis as well. Well, let's try again. Instead of the gem print, we'll print the test print, which is smaller and faster. Okay, now let's stop it at 80%. This time to make sure I have the perfect spot, I will mark where my glass was sitting at with a sharpie. Once I am done that, we'll take the filament out and we'll start another print and let it print till 80%. Just like before, when it reaches 80%, we'll put the change filament option. We'll align our print bed and place the filament back into the carriage. After that, we'll choose resume and it will start printing again. This time, I actually think I have a pretty good chance. It seems like I got it in the right spot. The print is done now. Let's take a closer look at it. Well, it seems like I was actually a tiny bit off but it's only noticeable in certain angles. It actually looks like it's printed in one print from far away. Compared to the first attempt, I would say this is a lot better. Well, there we have it. We tried to find out whether or not we can salvage a print that got stopped abruptly. And we can, to a certain extent if we have all the factors necessary in place. We'll need to know the exact percentage we are at and also the exact same spot where we first started the print. Even just a tiny shift will cause the next layer to be out of place. We also need a lot of practice as well to make it work. So you are familiar with the process. Well, that's the end of our experiment today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.